So we don't have that. That's taken away because of the circumstances. But what cannot be taken away is your perspective. That's something no one can take away from you. You can shift your perspective and look at what is going on and view it that it's an opportunity for your spiritual growth. This is a moment that a lot of our distractions are taken away and we'll really get a chance to work on ourselves. However that is. You have time to read books. You have time to watch videos. You can, there's hundreds of amazing spiritual teachers on YouTube that you have an opportunity to sit down and listen to their lectures. Compare them, see who you like. You couldn't do it before, you were busy. Now you have a chance to do it. Now you have an opportunity to meditate. You have an opportunity to go to the nature and be by yourself, take time off and just dive inwards and do go do an exploration of the inner world and explore what's going on because the other this utter distractions are not there. So we're not going to view this as a catastrophe. We're going to view it as an opportunity for growth. So all of a sudden you change your perspective of something was a bummer. Eh, I hate it. I can't stand it to, wow, I'm loving it or I'm really going to use it to help me to accomplish something, whatever that is. I always wanted to learn a new language. I didn't have time because I'm always working. I have time to do that. I wanted to study history. Okay, great, you have time. You can watch a lot of great videos or read about it. I wanted to write something. I wanted to organize my poems or my thoughts to write something about my life. Great, now you have that time to do it. I wanted to paint, I wanted to... create something with my hands. Great, you have the opportunity to do it now. Why not? When I'm talking about doing this work, I'm not saying that you stay home and 24 seven, you're self-reflecting and self-reflecting. Yeah, you can do that, but then that can also become very mental. It could be a mental activity. be many different things. You wanted to do a cleanse. You wanted to do a 30-day cleanse. You want to do an intestinal cleanse. You want to do a liver flush. You want to lose weight. You want to work on your body. You want, there's so many different things that you have the opportunity to do it now because you're not distracted with a lot of other stuff. Well, what if there is no future? What if da, 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 the world ends? Well, it's going to end for everyone. It won't just end for you.
well, that takes a long time to fix something or to learn something. It's going to take a year to learn a new language. Well, let's say you don't learn a new language. What's going to happen in a year from now on? Wouldn't a year go by? A year still will go by. Yeah, you understand? Are you with me? You you see that? It's a perspective. It's a perspective. You can look at it this way, and it's negative and fearful and catastrophe and boring and horrible, or you can just shift your attention to the positive part of it and make the best out of what you have because this is the reality right now. You can't sit down and cry about it, what it used to be and, and how horrible it is. This is what is. This is life. How was it if you lived in Europe and it's 1938, 1939? And it's the start of the world war. You know, how a, I mean, your continent is about to be destroyed and everyone's being inconvenient in that time. All of a sudden war took over the entire Europe. What do you want to do? Sit down and cry about it. Or you make adjustments. So we get used to things to be in a certain way. And then we fall asleep. That's what happens. We fall asleep. And then existence comes and says, you know what? God comes and says, you know what? I love you and I want to wake you up. I want to wake you up to the truth of who you are. I want you to discover something within yourself that you didn't know it existed. Because you're thinking peace, love, comfort, equilibrium is in the utter world. It's in the economy. It's in the politics. It's in how much money you have and how many homes you have, how successful you are, or how great is your family and your relationships. That's where you're investing. But you're not working on yourself. So your well-being is very much depending on what is going on in the utter world. And now I love you and I want to wake you up that your wealth is inside yourself. And I'm going to give you this opportunity to wake up to that, to recognize the kingdom of heaven within yourself, to come to you and recognize the expansion, recognize that you are the one you're looking for and you're not separated. There's no separation. There is no separation. There's never been a separation. Separation cannot exist. It doesn't even, it's impossible. It's not there. It's never been there. It's all one. It's always been one. And in investigation of yourself, as you dive deeper inside yourself, as your mind starts to quiet and you go beyond your mind, then you start to experience that there is no separation. Because now there is no mind. 
There's no mind creating this illusion that something is separated. Even you with the virus, with anything. Even you with death. You with life, birth. 